Um, so maybe just talk us quickly through your ecosystem before we jump into my questions that I have for you. Just tell us a little bit about all these different startups that you've got going. Yeah, so I've got four startups. One of whom is a human. Um, he's my favorite. And then I've got three startups that are businesses. And uh, I try not to pick a favorite there. So one of them is is Gozmail, which is a daily mailer that gets opened every day now by over 45,000 people, around 80 to 90,000 unique people a week. So it's pretty big now. Um, and basically what that does is it, it sort of runs through, you know, what were the biggest stories on the market from the prior day? I share really cool podcasts with people. Uh, you know, I've got a bunch of brand partners in there that bring other sort of thought leadership and market updates to the audience. So that that is very much a financial media business, just a newsletter led strategy. So it's sort of ban up to date with where the world has gone. Um, more by luck than design, to be honest with you. And I'm just glad that's that's kind of worked out. And it's for anyone who's like remotely interested in the market. Ultimately, I throw a bit of humor in there. I mean, I pretty much just write how I am as a person. I try not to take life or myself too seriously. And I think that comes through in the writing. And for those who are starting to move up the curve and want to understand more, uh, the second startup is a business called Magic Markets, which is a podcast-led business. And that is with a partner of mine, Mohamed Nala. So he had a bunch of very senior roles in financial institutions in South Africa. So he's got a wealth of experience. I may or may not once upon a time in my life have been his coffee fetcher on a certain, in a certain bank somewhere, but um, you know we, we go back a long way and the good news is we, we really work well together. Well, it's tough to do business with friends ultimately, but we make it work. And uh, basically that is for someone who wants to take things a lot more seriously, really start to delve into investment concepts because it does, it gets super technical, right? And then for those who are very serious about it, uh, or, or, there's a free podcast you can listen to. And for those who are very serious about it, there's a weekly um, premium subscription podcast called Magic Markets Premium. And there we do a report and podcast on a different global company every week. So this week we covered Meta, last week we did Netflix, not because we always do tech, it's just they've recently reported earnings, but rather because we focus on what is topical at the time. And the third startup is a business I'm very passionate about called Bizval. I've got two co-founders in that. And our dream is to give entrepreneurs access to valuations of their businesses that are obviously as accurate as possible and at the lowest cost possible. So in my investment banking days, I used to do lots of valuations and deals. And I took that expertise and used it in, in building the backend algorithm for this thing. And we've tried to make it as simple to use as a front end as possible so that any entrepreneur, you know, normally if you go to an audit firm, whatever the case is for a valuation, you're going to spend an absolute fortune, literally tens of thousands of rands. Uh, with this tool, you know, our most expensive offering is 10,000 Rand for a concierge, which is our personal touch on it. If you do it online automatically, you know, you're paying literally a couple of grand and you're getting a pretty accurate answer. So it's something we're very proud of. The whole ecosystem ultimately is about taking complicated financial matters and making them accessible to people. And you can kind of see that thread coming through on all those businesses.